Today, the trades at Shiprock Trading Company are pretty straightforward. Cash for art. Zuni inlaid turquoise. Gorgeous. 150 years ago, trades were everything for just about anything. They had to start from scratch, basically, but there was just rarely outside source for materials or supplies or goods or anything. Jed Fouts' family became that source. Whether it was wool season or livestock or lambs or the rug, that would go against the bill and then they would just start all over again. As the world moved in, the trades focused more and more on art. The art has been really the one thing that has maintained its kind of prominence in the world. We started forming a friendship quite some time ago. Namaho jeweler Jimmy King Jr. trades with Jed, traded with Jed's dad, and says the trading post means as much to him now as it did to his ancestors. Like me, it's a matter of economics. A way to make money and make your car payment, your insurance, your, you know. 150 years after Jed Fouts' family started trading, even land like this isn't as remote as it used to be. As times have changed, so has the role of the trading post. Now one of the most important things that Jed Fouts and other traders like him can do, at least the good ones, is to tell you whether or not the Indian art you're getting is real. The art, the jewelry, is desirable enough that it's being copied. I couldn't tell the difference. You could catch me. I'd spend money on nothing, on paste. A knockoff of, say, this piece may have the same look, but it won't have the same quality. If you look how even all the stamping is and how well designed and laid, laid out it is. And it doesn't have the story behind it. Like this one here, these two. I had that in my mind for well over a year. That's what makes it unique and valuable. People who appreciate how much work goes into the piece. Like I said, that thing's got 91 separate pieces of silver in there. 150 years after it started, the trading post isn't the same. But in some ways, it's not that different. In Farmington, Matt Grubbs, KOAT Action 7 News. The people who visit Shaw.